Yeah, I think this week was a great step for me and in, in the in the past year I think it's probably like the first tournament or like one of the few tournaments that I've actually, you know, like started going for my shots more. Um, I think that recently I was kind of playing and hoping they would miss and I think I was pushing the ball around a lot more rather than this week. I kind of just was like, look, I'm going to just try it. I don't care if I make errors, like it's fine, but I'm just going to like over hit if anything. So I'm pretty proud of how I did this week and uh, I think it's a great step to, to move forward. That, that looked like a pretty high quality match today. Just how did you feel about your performance against you know top players, third in the race? Yeah, it came down to a few, you know, a few points and a few things. I think that, you know, Jessica, she she's playing great tennis right now. I think she's in in really good form, and um, yeah, I think she's got like I don't know eight nine years on me. So I think if I keep working and and it's great to have the exposure to these sort of opponents who have been out there for so long and um, you know doing doing these things day in day out and see see how they play, see how fast their ball comes. Um, it's going to take some adjusting to, I think, just just the level and um, yeah, it's it has been great. I feel like every match is is just a really good practice. Like you don't get this sort of high quality practice anywhere. And Emma, just three matches, obviously here in Cincinnati, and you know, there's there's like general fitness, and then there's match fitness, and then there's tournament fitness, like being able to physically turn around and do. I'm like, so I'm curious, being able to do that through three matches here, how do you feel like you you did it help push you kind of ahead in in that path of kind of being as tournament fit as possible? I think it it, it does because you know to to play back to back days um, you know between the first and second it was like pretty quick turnover so I think that um, it's it's difficult as well to to stay like mentally focused as well like to keep you know mentally just going back out there and like backing the performances up and I think that's something that to be honest I don't think I've experienced much of because I haven't had many consistent weeks of a lot of matches in a row so um, it was great to get three matches this week and um, and in a, in DC as well so I think that I am getting there and um, today against Jessica like we had some really you know long rallies and she yeah, her ground strokes are really good, and for me, I think it was just like staying low for that long and doing it over and over again, and having to work like so hard for every point, um, and just being able to kind of repeat that point after point. It was it was pretty difficult. What what made you decide that you just wanted to kind of attack, as you said, and just go for your shots? What, what was kind of the trigger for that? Um, I kind of just got tired of like pushing the ball around and like having people hit the ball and they run me around. So I was just like, look, I've tried that for pretty much a year. I'm just going to like do something. Um, you know, if, if I'm going to lose, like I'm probably going to lose anyway, pushing the ball around at this level, like it just doesn't work. So I'm, you know, I'm just going to do it and, uh, yeah, give this tournament a, a swing and it, and it worked. And I think that it's, it is definitely like um, relieving because I feel like I'm swinging with the same sort of freedom as I probably had like more similar to last year. So uh, it feels really good and I think that I can really take it as a positive week and I actually feel like I'm heading in a, in a good direction again. Do you feel, kind of going off to my next question, do you feel like you're still kind of learning your, like what kind of player you want to be, you know, because you do, you have all the raw skills to kind of be whichever one you want effectively. You have the athleticism for covering the court, but also the pop on the, on the serve and, and the forehand and stuff. I mean, is it still kind of a little bit of a, a search and let's see kind of how I want to play? Yeah, it's, it is because I think that I do each of the aspects pretty well, like separated and but I just need to kind of put them together and like for example some weeks I've served really really well like I think over the clay in the beginning I served really well and then like then some weeks I don't know it will just like disappear and then I'll become like more of a defensive player and then I'll become like an attacking player so I think I am like 
still trying to find the balance as you say um and just trying to package my game together more so but at like as like i said every match at this level kind of i figure out you know what works what doesn't work um how i should be hitting the ball and i feel more i feel more confident in what i'm doing now obviously us open is next um after kind of the past year and you know seeing how good the level is and how you know what it takes to be successful consistently how, how do you actually look back on what you achieved back then given again how inexperienced you were and you know how, how little you probably knew about you know beating top players yeah i think that at the us open i played i yeah i played really good tennis you know swinging with like like i said the freedom that i started to tap into this week um and I did really enjoy this week, like, if I made an error, it was almost like a positive thing, like, good, you're kind of going for it. And it paid off a lot more than it than it didn't. And, um, but I also think, like, honestly, that my opponents have been playing a lot better this year. And, and I can, I'm re-watching my matches from the US Open, and there are certain moments where I was given a lot of gifts or... Um, maybe they got a bit tight or you know one not something like that so i i think i've improved actually as a player um i just like as i'm finding this sort of like freedom in my swinging um yeah i think that i achieved something great of course but it was like i was just playing completely free and i'm starting to do that again what are you most looking forward to about going to new york well, I just love New York as a city, so I can't wait to go back. Um, I really have been craving like a bagel for the last year. <laughs> so I can't wait to go back to New York and it's one of my favorite cities out there. So yeah, I'm just really looking forward to, to go see the city, of course. But then, um, yeah, of course the tournament. I've got special memories there from the juniors I made quarters, and then and then last year obviously that happened. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. What's your bagel of choice? Oh, the order's too long. Like you can't even. Really? Oh.